chemical process is a global process. The clothes that we wear, baby bottles, plastics, paint, chemicals, touch everything that defines the modern life. The way that chemicals are produced today result in a very large amount of carbon dioxide as well as other greenhouse gas emissions into the environment. 600 million tons of CO2 is emitted, which is roughly equivalent to total emission by a country like Mexico. The chemical industry has largely been ignored in this fight against climate change. It's incredibly important to find more sustainable means of producing chemicals to ensure the longevity of our planet. If we want to make a true impact, nature provides an inspiration how we should do things from a big picture. What makes all life possible on Earth is photosynthesis. Nature doesn't do reaction at 1,000 degrees Celsius. It doesn't emit CO2. Our technology uses light to activate chemical reactions as opposed to high temperature. Our process at New Iridium uses electrification instead of fossil fuels to create the desired product. Essentially a greener and cheaper way of manufacturing the same end products. The chemical industry really got going uh, around World War II. Chemicals are involved in about 96% of all manufactured goods. The industry underpins about uh, $2.5 trillion in annual economic activity. Chemicals today are produced using high heat and create lots of waste, including CO2. There are significant CO2 emission associated with such an energy-intensive process. By using lights, we make chemical bonds easier to break and form. We are developing photocatalysis to you know, change how chemicals are made. Photosynthesis is fundamentally a photocatalytic process. Chlorophyll uses light energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose. Similarly, photocatalysis utilizes light energy to drive a chemical reaction. Chemical bonds are weakened by exciting the electrons with light, which eliminates the need for using high thermal input. A leaf takes carbon dioxide and water and, and creates materials with it using the power of light. You're not using brute force anymore to force molecules together. Instead, you're dealing with electrons in their orbitals and having them hop one to another. It's a completely new way of doing chemistry. Compared to today's process, which takes five steps, and you use dangerous chemicals and create a lot of waste, we can produce at the same compound in two steps using CO2. CO2 is actually incorporated into the chemical structure, and ultimately it becomes integrated into the end products that we use every day. Our technology closes the carbon cycle. In fact, it consumes more CO2 than it produces, so it actually goes one step further, creating carbon-negative processes. Using photocatalysis, display screens for modern electronics sequester CO2 indefinitely. For every 100 pounds of plexiglass, about 50 pounds of that weight is coming from CO2 using our process. We got to think about how do we reduce waste, how do we reduce emission, how we reuse CO2 into something useful. Nature provides an inspiration how we use materials. We're at a point now where we are starting to see some of the unintended consequences of the way we've been living here as a young species. There are these answers that are inherently sustainable and regenerative that are all around us. Our vision is to actually rewrite the uh, handbook on chemical engineering. If we want to continue modern lifestyle, I fundamentally believe that you know, photocatalysis can take us there. <laughs>